The real power of Nextcloud is in the applications that it's able to host. The most popular ones are under the Groupware bundle. Let's use that bundle to take the first step into the world of Nextcloud applications. The easiest way to get overwhelmed in Nextcloud is to try to sift through all of the applications to find out what might end up being helpful. To avoid this, Nextcloud has identified a few applications that provide a good baseline to get started with. The applications that they suggest in their groupware bundle include ones that are aimed mainly at teams that need typical office applications. That being said, both individuals or families can benefit from these applications too. One of the major benefits of using one or more of these applications is that they integrate with each other natively. This makes it hard to present on each one of them individually, but let's go through a couple here. Today we'll walk you through installing the Groupware bundle. This should be available to any administrator on the Nextcloud system. Navigating over to App Bundles on the left, we can see that the Groupware bundle is ready for us to enable. Once the applications have downloaded, going back to the main page will allow these applications to show up in your top bar. We can see that the new applications have been added, Mail, Contacts, Calendar, and Deck. We'll go through these four today, starting with Mail. Mail is an email client that can send and receive email messages from your provider. The first thing it does is pop up with the setup wizard that will allow you to set up your account automatically if it's able to detect the appropriate settings. Otherwise, the manual tab will allow you to enter in your email server's connection details. Once your account has been created, you'll see your messages as well as your inbox and the rest in your browser. At this point, you can send and receive emails like usual. Next, we'll take a look at two applications, Contact and Calendar. Contacts is an address book, much like the one on your cell phone or email client. Here you can add and modify contacts, including phone, email, address, and more, such as birthday, nickname, language, or time zone. These contacts can be grouped into existing groups within Nextcloud or new groups specified for these contacts. Next, we'll take a look at the calendar application. This application functions as any other calendar where you can create brand new calendars, create events in several different calendars, and show or hide calendars as we need to. As an aside, this may seem trivial compared to other calendars and contacts applications. Keep in mind though, that this shares all the features of Nextcloud, including sharing between people within the organization and syncing across devices. Lastly is Nextcloud's deck feature. This is a to-do list that functions with columns, similarly to a Kanban style board. This has tasks that can be created or moved around at will. As with the other Nextcloud applications we looked at today, the power here is how these applications interact natively with each other. In the sense that setting a due date will show up on the calendar, and assigning a user to this card who's in your contacts book will let them know about it. If you're feeling overwhelmed at the application selection, or simply don't know where to start, using the Groupware bundle as a jumping off point is the easiest way to get started. If you found that these applications have helped you, or if you have any questions about them, visit us at rcompose.com. And if you're ready to get started with Nextcloud, you can also sign up for a free trial of your own Arcompose instance today at rcompose.com.